Hi and welcome to the Education Through Expeditions How To Guide How You Guys Can Make Your Own Bloopy Glaciers Experiment Ok so what you're going to need are a few ingredients start off with you'll need a plate and some modelling clay Ok because what we're going to do is make our own mountain to put our glacier on so I've got one here that I made earlier so here's our plate with our mountain all ready to go Ok now you're also going to need some corn flour, some water, and something to mix them in. Okay. Now the recipe to make our glacier is going to be a couple of spoonfuls of corn flour. So I want a nice flat spoonful. One, two, and then for every spoonful of corn flour I put in. I'm going to put in a spoonful of water as well. So one, two. And then all you've got to do is mix that up until all the powder has gone. Okay? And it should turn, after a few minutes of mixing, into a really strange, gloopy kind of pasty substance. Okay? And then if you can still see some powder, add a bit more water. Or, if it's really runny like this, you need to add more powder. Have a play around with it. Make sure you're adding water, adding powder as needed, until you get it looking just like this. Okay, so this is the kind of thickness you want your mixture to be. See it moving around there? Nice and gloopy. It's not going anywhere in a hurry. And there's no powder that we can see. When you've got your mixture just how you want, Reach your hand in, it's going to feel a bit gross, and pull out a nice big lump of it. Okay, now squeeze it in your hand before you take it out. Squeeze it in, okay, and you'll have a solid lump. Now, you want to move it around like this with the tips of your fingers because while you're moving it, it's nice and solid like a snowball. But as soon as you let go, it's going to turn back into a liquid. So it's really important. Keep it moving, keep it moving, okay? So once you've got it into a lump, we'll make it like a snowball, and then we take our snowball and we're going to put it right on top of our mountain. You ready for this bit? Okay? Watching this nice and carefully. And there you go. You've got your own gloopy glacier. Have a think as you're watching it and imagine that's a glacier moving for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. You can actually try making it even thicker, add some more powder and see how much longer it takes for that glacier to move. And then again, imagine what it would be like if it was taking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Why don't you have a go and see how you do.